Boxing Low Down and I'm back here with another video. Now, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Feel free to drop a comment if you like and I'll happily get back to you. Now, I wanted to do this video. One of my favourite prospects in boxing was in action last weekend. Jerron Ennis looking superb. Um, knocking out his opponent, Arbro, I believe his name was. One Carlos Arbro. I can't remember, sorry guys. But um, his finish last weekend, I mean, it was a six round stoppage, I believe. Knocked his opponent down twice, three times on the way to, to win in the fight. And um, he looked very impressive, Jerron Ennis. And the first time I came across Jerron Ennis was actually um, on Instagram. I was just looking through Instagram. It was a couple of years ago. And it just showed some defensive highlights of, of a box. And I was just like, who is this guy, man? He just looks really good. And I looked on his name. I saw that he's called Boots. And I was like, who's Boots? Let me look into Boots. And then like, I saw his, some of the clips that he had, went on his profile. And then I started tracking him and I just thought, yeah, this guy looks for real, man. He, he, he's, he's got it all in the ring. You know, he's flashy, he's, he's quick, he's, um, he can punch, you know, he looks like very athletic and um, he's a future, man. He's one of the future stars in the world to weight division. He's definitely being built up that way, Jerron Ennis. And uh, when you look at the world to weight division right now, it's in very, very good hands, man. Uh, two of my favorite prospects in boxing right now. I remember I was asked a question on Raps on TV. Shout out to him. He asked me, who are the two fighters out there that I'm really like excited about for the future? And both of those guys that I mentioned were Jerron Ennis and Virgil Ortiz. I think that these two guys, both in the world to weight division as well, have got a very, very bright future ahead of them. I love watching both of them fight. And could you imagine, like, maybe down the line, we could see these two get it on. We don't want to see it yet because they're still building up their star power. But the future is very bright for these two guys. Uh, Jerron Ennis, like I said, in the ring at the weekend, he was flashy, he was quick, showed great combinations to the head and the body, displayed power, you know, variety. Uh, he's got it all, man. He's great defensive as well. And it is early in his career, so he's, we're not going to want to rush this guy. But from what I've seen so far, man, I'm very impressed by him. And, um, you know, over here in the UK, I mean, a lot of people seem to know who he is as well. It's not just over in America. Uh, a lot of the UK fans have taken note of who Jerron Ennis is. And he's got the potential to build up his stardom, his star power here, man, he, for sure. If he can keep on building his record and, you know, fighting good opponents and looking good when he's out, he's asking a lot. But if he can continue to do that, then the future's bright, man. He's already looking to call out some of the bigger names already. Uh, I don't want to see him take on those guys yet because uh, we have like the established welterweight champions and these guys need to mix out with each other. So in the meantime, man, um, Jerron Ennis and Virgil Ortiz, they just need to keep on building up their star power, man. I'm not saying that they need to fight scrubs along the way for the whole time. Uh, definitely look to build up your, um, your resume against solid opposition over time. But what I'm saying is that there's no rush. I mean, you don't have to go out there and face a top five, you know, person already or top ten, even top ten. Like, just keep on building your record and the time will come, man. I, I think the future is bright for these two. Both of these guys are very young. They're in their early 20s. So, uh, yeah, no need to rush it completely, man. I'd like to see these guys continue to improve. Uh, Jerron Ennis was on the undercard of uh, Erickson Lubin and Terrell Gaucher. And uh, Virgil Ortiz, I'm not sure when he's out next, but um, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing these two um, in action, man. Very, very exciting prospects to both of them. With Virgil Ortiz, I believe he won the prospect of the year last year. So, um, yeah, the star power is building for both of these men. I love watching Virgil Ortiz fight as well. I mean, he's got great variety and, um, you know, he can punch as well. And he just looks like a solid pro already, man. The fundamentals are there and he, he just looks like a solid pro, man. So I, I'm looking forward to seeing these guys continue to build up their star power and uh, hopefully we can see them in action one day in a huge fight. You know, hopefully that can happen. Uh, Virgil Ortiz, like I said, is with Golden Boy. Jerron Ennis is with like the PBC Showtime. So that might be an obstacle in the way should they meet in the future. But for now, let's just celebrate their talents, man. And uh, I definitely wanted to just do this quick video to speak about how high I am on both of these fighters. So let me know who your favorite prospects are, man. Who do you guys look at right now as, um, you know, some fighters that you, you're really looking forward to seeing in the future mix it up at the top level? Uh, who have you got in there? I mean, I remember ESPN did this list of a uh, top 25, under 25 of boxers out there right now. So some of those guys are filled with world champions, but you've got prospects in there as well. I mean, you've got Daniel Dubois in there. Uh, you've got loads of prospects out there, man. So um, I'd like to hear your names as to who you guys are looking at as the future of boxing. Uh, they're just two of mine that I think are going to make waves, but I'm curious to hear your opinion as well. So uh, drop your thoughts in the comment section below, guys, and let me know what you guys think. And uh, don't forget to subscribe on the way out. I'll catch you on the next video.